I mentioned in the tutorial about creating tables, about setting up default values. I'm just going to move this up here slightly because we're going to do that now. What I want to do is set up a default value for the county, being London in this case, so it'll default to that. And also across here, I want it to say lend, which will allow me to lend these to my friends. And we want to set that to yes. So I'm just going to move that back across here. And in the top left hand corner here, you can see my design button. I'm just going to click on that. And the first thing I'm going to do is here, I'm just going to click in County. And you can see down the bottom here, you've got your field properties. By the way, if you want to jump from the top down to the bottom here and use the keyboards, the F6 button will take you down backwards and forwards. And I'm just doing that now. If I press F6, you'll see that it jumps backwards and forwards. It's now in the top part of the grid. And now it's in the bottom with the field properties. And if I look down here, I can see that there's something called default value. I want that to say London. Okay, so I've just popped that in there. That's it. That's all I need. If I click on another line, if it's text, it puts quotes around it. For this one here for Lend, I'm just going to click there. And I'm going to click on Default Value. And for this, I just want it to say Yes. I've done it in lowercase. It knows it's a Yes, No box. So it has put the Y of Yes into uppercase for that. So that will automatically put that in there for me. I'm just going to add another field in here to show you something else. And that is if I put in date entered, that's a date entered onto the database. I'm going to choose from the drop down box here, date. I can do a default value for that as well. And we're going to be using this in other places so that a little bit like a library, if we add a someone in who's actually borrowed a DVD, I want them to return it in 14 days time and I can set up a default to automatically put that date in. All I need to do is type date, open and close brackets. You'll see it's capitalized the D and it automatically will be putting that in there for me. We're going to take a look now. I'm just going to save that. Hit view and you'll now see that if I move across and if I'm taking a look at this new record which is here, it's automatically going to have London in there. It's automatically going to have the lend as ticked as yes. If I scroll across, it's automatically putting in today's date. That's very, very handy. And we're going to be doing more of that. But that is using default values in a table in Access 2003.